Hey guys, Stephanie with AmericanMuscle.com here bringing you a very special edition of Mustang News. We are here right now at SEMA and I'm going to be giving you guys a sneak peek of what's to come a little bit later in the week. We're going to go inside these walls here and try to catch some of those 2018 goodies that we all know are sitting inside in that convention center. Do hang on for a little bit though because I am going to be giving something free away a little bit later on like we always do. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't done so already just to stay up to date on all 2018 Mustang related things and to see other cool Mustang content. But for now, let's go see what dreams are made of. All right guys, so I made it inside. I'm here in the central hall to give you guys a sneak peek of 2018 Mustangs, and I know exactly where I'm going. I'm headed right to the Ford booth. So the show is just getting started. It's technically not even open yet, but I'm walking around the Ford booth, guys, and I see two cars that are in the process of being set up for the actual show. If you're on the forums and you know these two cars, I am in love with these two cars. This one right here, 200 mile an hour street car, 2018 Helion Twin Turbo Kit. I don't know. I'm in love with this one. But if you guys want to walk with me, these two cars in this area are insane. Wide body 2018 with an 18 inch rear wheel sitting right next to a 2018 Helion Twin Turbo Kit. I am going to be bringing you guys my top three Mustangs later in the week. So we'll be going over these things in more detail. But just a quick little teaser. I saw them sitting here and I couldn't pass them up. So one of the first things I notice when I'm walking around the Ford booth is the brand new 2018 RTR Mustang. I'm pretty stoked on this thing, guys. I mean, sitting here, seeing it in person after seeing the rendering online, it's, it's unbelievable. I don't even know where to start. I dig the wheels. I'm, I'm so into this thing, over 700 horsepower. We are going to be talking about it a little bit later on in more detail about this car, but just seeing it here, guys, this is a production car, a factory car. It's going to roll off the line like this, and you guys can pick it up looking just like this. This thing's badass. Guys, don't forget, American Muscle is so excited about the RTR Spec 3 that we are teaming up with Mustang RTR to give away a 2018 RTR Mustang for free. Make sure you enter to win. You guys can enter once a week starting now at americamuscle.com slash winrtr. This is the 2018 Roush Mustang with the custom wide body kit on it. I mean, I could tell right away, I saw this little bit of green peeking out down here and I saw a little bit of those wheels. And if you guys take a look at the fender up front, you can pretty much see the wide body kit here. See the hood scoop. I mean, obviously the show's not open yet, so we're gonna have to wait till tomorrow to see this car, but it's pretty awesome to know that it's sitting right here, came around the corner and saw it, got a little sneak peek of it. All right guys, so we gotta get down to business. I need to announce to you the winner from our last giveaway from the last Mustang News. Mike Saris, hopefully I'm not butchering your name, but Mike Saris, you are the winner of that last giveaway. And as far as what we're giving away free this time, you guys are looking at a free set of Fuel Injector Clinic 1000cc Big Boy Fuel Injectors. If you guys wanna win these things, make sure that you're subscribed and you have to comment below. Tell me anything, tell me something about Justin, tell me what you love about SEMA, I don't care what it is. Guys, just subscribe and comment below if you want to win these fuel injectors. Keep an eye out because later this week, my top three 2018 Mustang picks from SEMA and everything Mustang related that's here at SEMA, we're going to be bringing it to you and showing it to you in a video. Don't forget, for all things Mustang, keep it right here at AmericanMuscle.com. What's up everybody, I'm Justin with americantrucks.com and welcome to a special SEMA 2017 edition of Truck News. Now guys, we're coming to you from the SEMA show out here in Las Vegas to give you a glimpse at some of the 2018 F-150s in attendance. So be sure to stay tuned for our full length video coming to you very soon. And of course, subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't done so already. For now, let's check out some trucks. Before we go inside to check out some of the 2018s in there, we figured we'd stop by our friends here at the Roush booth, see if they brought any toys in. Of course they did, the Roush, right? Up front, Oxford White 2018 F-150 done up with some of their parts, their wheels, their front grille, 
The rear applique here looks really sharp, but this thing caught my eye. Check this thing out. As a Raptor owner, I really love what Roush has done with their particular truck. Uh, unique suspension here to the Roush Raptor. Obviously, they have their own wheels going on, and this thing's just turned up to 11, man. A lot of really cool parts on this thing, so a nice little tease of what's in store here is for the 2018 F-150, but now let's head inside and see what we see. If you've ever had the chance to come out to SEMA, everything is completely over the top. All the trucks are lifted, they're huge. Well, it's nice to see something a little bit different, right? This is the 2018 F-150 from the gang over at RK Sport. I love this truck. Red and black EcoBoost truck on 24s, lowered three and a half inches. Again, I love my lifted stuff out there, but it's also nice to see something a little bit more slammed as well. Brand new hood they're working on, all carbon. You can see the carbon grill stuff. New headlights, the rear bumper is totally custom as well. Very cool stuff, and it's nice that RK does things a little bit different here from your standard run-of-the-mill lifted truck. Well, guys, this is the one I'm super excited to see. Vaughn has been telling me about this truck for the last couple of weeks, and here it is in the flesh. We're gonna be bringing you more of this thing on our full SEMA breakdown, but for now, here's a little teaser of the RTR muscle truck. Now, from what we understand, Vaughn's gonna have some really cool stuff in store for the F-150 market, and this is just kind of their concept vehicle to showcase what the crew is capable of. Really tough looking stance on this thing right now, kind of lowered down a little bit like the ultimate fun haver. But when you jump this thing, that suspension goes full droop, about 13 to 14 inches of travel underneath this thing, all adjustable. Under the hood, RTR linked up with Ford Performance for one of their brand new hot off the presses TVS 2650 blowers, the big boy TVS, of course, with that Gen 3 Coyote. This thing's got to be putting down big power. And as we learn more details about this thing, we'll be sure to bring them to you. Well guys, that's gonna wrap up our SEMA 2017 sneak peek edition of Truck News. Be sure to stay tuned for our full length video coming to you very soon to showcase all the craziness that is SEMA. Now we do have some business to take care of here. Mr. Tom Hanley, congrats man, you won our last sweepstakes. Enjoy the free swag. This time around, I'm giving away a Black Horse off-road bull bar to one lucky viewer. Simply comment below, subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already done so. Thanks for watching. For all things F-150, keep it right here at americantrucks.com. Hey guys, this is Chris with Real Truck. We are here on day one of SEMA 2017, and I'm here with Hank of Hanro Studios, and he is the owner and builder of this truly custom 2017 Illumina Duty. And he's gonna tell us a little bit about that right now. Most definitely, so like you said, what we have here is the 2017 250 named Illum Illuminati. And uh, pretty much everything on the truck has been Dremel engraved to one form or another. So I did the body itself, which is obviously the aluminum body, but we did some steel and some other components of the build that we're gonna show off today. So pretty much on the, the front portion of the truck, we have a running a royalty core grill with an exterior aluminum plate that got engraved and then cleared. Uh, the fusion bumpers are steel engraved and then powder coated black over uh, obviously running the off-road led and royal hooks yeah this the subtle detail in this bumper is for sure nice. yeah i definitely yeah. wanted to make sure that it wasn't in your face and we kind of had a real ghostly nice. effect to it all right so why don't you tell us a little about the suspension and wheel setup most definitely so what we're running right now is the mcgoy's eight inch phase two and that is all dremel engraved as well so the steel components on the radius and the traction arms are engraved and then we had um, some aluminum face plates that went on the outside that were painted black and engraved as well uh, running American Force 24 by 12 ruckus wheels, all Dremel engraved, and then we put a Cerakote or a ceramic coat on the exterior of the wheel itself, so no, don't have to worry about any sort of wear and dust break and all nice. that kind of stuff. Nice, so. yeah. And the uh, as the, well as the Fox shocks, uh, we have the reservoir itself, so I'm running just the regular base, the dual setup, the dual stabilizers up front, and then the reservoirs have been engraved as well. Yeah, it's a great setup, and all the all the detail work in the suspension really make this a nice build. For sure, man, I appreciate it. So moving on to the back of the truck, this is where a lot of the engraving is taking place. Um, also, I see you've got a, you know some exhaust modifications and other things. So why don't you tell us about For that? For sure. So at just over 700 hours total on engraving time. So the back end, we painted BSAF black uh, gloss and then went through engraved and then gave it a nice clear coat over the top just for some extra protection. On the exhaust, we're running uh, the dual six inch Gibson performance. And uh, pretty much in the back, we have the truck vault set up to where I have a mobile engraving station. So anywhere that I go, I've got onboard power, onboard nice. air. I can nice. get my Dremel out and get the sound. All right, well, thanks for checking out that build with us. We're going to be here all week, so if you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel and give us a follow on Instagram and Facebook for more updates from SEMA 2017. Thanks again.